Welcome back to the LNX Files. As always, this is a safe space for all things spooky. And today we're gonna use these tarot cards to do a wellness check on Margot Robbie and Tom Ackerley, her non-famous husband. This is a viewer suggested video, so let's get right down to it. So like I said, you know, you guys post uh, requested videos in the comments all the time. I always pay attention to them. I always write, it's on the list. And uh, it is, there is an actual list that I have here that I consult with. You'll just have to take my word for it. And when one of you posted that comment, I think I wrote something to the effect of like, oh yeah, I've heard something about this. And then upon reflection, I actually hadn't heard any rumors that Margot Robbie and Tom Ackerley were like on the fritz or having trouble but the reason that like my gut responded like that is so historically in Hollywood when an up-and-coming actress marries like a not-so-famous man and then that actress blows up she typically upgrades her partner at some point. So a classic example of this would be like Olivia Wilde. She married uh, Tao Rispoli, who's an Italian prince when she was like up and coming. And then like they're married for a few years and then she, you know, kind of blew up. And then she upgraded, upgraded to, what's his face? What is that guy's name? I forget his name, but you, you guys know who I know. Who I mean, Ted Lasso, Ted Lasso guy. So, that's a classic example of that. Now, of course, we have wondered on this channel if Olivia Wilde is a climber, so that is something we have wondered about. Um, an example that, so basically, ho Hollywood couples where we have a very powerful, famous woman and a not so powerful or famous man, they typically don't tend to last. Now, of course, there are you know many exceptions to this rule. The most obvious one being Julia Roberts and her husband, uh, Danny Motor. I think that the strongest thing that Margot and Tom Ackerley have going for them is that they are both working uh, in the industry. You know, it, it can be very tough for couples where like one person like is like a heavy hitter in Hollywood and the other person is like, you know, a teacher. Now, of course, <laughs> When that happens, you know, it can put stress on the marriage because people in Hollywood act like their jobs are like the end all be all of civilization. Like, you know, when you live out here, like you have to like sometimes walk by movie shoots, film shoots, like depending on where you live or where you are. And like when that happens, like they act like they're curing cancer and like how dare you interrupt their shot. Like if you're just like walking your dog, they're like, could you please move? I made it! Like! And you're like, I live right over there. Like you can't yell at me. I live right here. Is my street like just relax people so that's a thing I find that in couples where there's one regular person and one famous person those couples tend to do better when uh, the famous person is male and the regular person is female because I think that this industry is such that women who work in this industry even the most famous famous successful powerful ones they often need protection they, they just do they need protection and they need opportunity even like the super super powerful ones and I feel like they often will partner up with someone who can offer them some sort of protection some sort of added boost that's what I've seen. This is one woman's opinion, my two cents. And let's take a look at Margot and Tom Ackerley. So Margot's a cancer with a cancer rising. Wow. So, I mean, I imagine someday she's probably gonna have kids with the cancer, cancer rising. I'd be stunned if she didn't have children. She's got a Scorpio moon. So her media chart is all water. Oh my goodness, wow. So she is a deeply feeling person, deeply feeling. And so her Scorpio moon, you know, that's a very, you know, emotional, dark place for the moon to be in. So that's the Harley Quinn side of her. That's the I, Tanya. That's the gritty side of her, is that Scorpio moon. And being able to process like grittier, darker, more, less palatable emotions. Now, Tom Ackerley, we don't know a ton about his chart. He's a Capricorn. So Cancer Capricorn, they're opposite each other on the wheel of the Zodiac. And so when you pair up with someone who's your opposite, like, you know, Taurus Scorpio, like Libra Aries, like Gemini Sagittarius, you're getting a hit or miss union. I, I find oftentimes they're more hit than miss, but essentially you're like dating your mirror's reflection. So these these couples can really push each other's buttons. These people can have soulmate level compatibility. There can be a lot going on there. Now, oftentimes it's a complete miss. You know, it's just too much opposite, but you know, looks like it's a hit for these two. One other thing I'll say before we start pulling cards is that like when they met and they met on a film set, uh, to my belief, to my understanding, he was like third AD, which means the third assistant director. Like he was on like the lower level of the 
crew, right? So third AD is nothing to sneeze at. That's a really hard job to get. Like you have to work your way up to that position. Like it's, it takes a lot to have the opportunity and the doors open for you to just be third AD on a set. And so he was, but at the same time, like she's a huge movie star. He was third AD. Now he's a big shot producer with Lucky Chap Productions. They produce all the time. Okay, to insiders in Hollywood, it looks like he's, you know, like ridden his wife's coattails to a career. That's what it would probably look like to a lot of people here. I'm just saying that. Okay. All right. Margot. Tom. Margot. Helping or hurting the situation and where's the energy heading? All right. So Margot's external vibe towards her husband. Hmm. Okay. So Page of Swords in reverse. So Page of Swords upright is you know, mental agility. This is a card with rolling with the punches, thinking fast, acting fast. So when this card comes up in reverse, it can mean one of two things. Well, it can mean like things are just stable and there's no need for her to, her to have any mental agility. They're just calm and stable. Or she's trying to have mental agility and she can't because things are destabilized. So this is a, 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 a tricky reversal to read. So we just kind of keep pulling cards. It's a little weird, okay? All right, Tom's external vibe towards Margot. Okay, another swords card in reverse. So king of swords. So his external vibe to her, this is, you know, we got to be real here, is one of either just sure destabilization or lying in misrepresentation. So king of swords, upright, the one king in the deck that tells you the truth. He looks you dead in the eyes and he tells you about the reality of battle, the reality of bloodshed, of like wins and losses, and like the stormy clouds of the of the battle and of life are behind him, but he can look you in the eye and tell you like what went down. So whenever the King of Swords comes up in reverse, you really gotta be careful. Like you've just really gotta be careful about lying, dishonesty, misrepresentation. Um, you know, at best he's destabilized right now. So this is like no joke, all right? So, okay, this is what we're getting. All right, Margot's internal vibe towards Tom Ackerley. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. So we got the devil card in reverse. So this is often a very positive sign, but not always. So upright, you know, this is not great. It means codependency, toxic relationships, addictions, drugs, sex, like the whole night. It's just people being chained to something in the material world that's now controlling them. And just as the magician card says, as above, so below, the devil card says, as below, so above. Like, the underworld is now running things. So usually with this card, when this card comes up in reverse, it can mean, like, this is a couple that's overcome a lot. Like, they've been through hell together, and now they're tighter, they're stronger, their connection is deeper. It's, it's a very powerful reversal. But I have also seen this card come up for a couple that's just kind of resigned themselves to making it work. You know, they're just like, well... We're still in hell, but we're going to stay together and figure this out. Like, I've also seen that happen. So we, we can't really say what's going on with the two of them right now. Okay, what is Tom's internal vibe towards Margot? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So Eight of Pentacles upright is a card of doing work. Doing the work, you're happy for the work. Work gives you financial stability like, et cetera, et cetera. So, so, you know, it's usually a positive card. It comes up when people are like very work focused and it may not be the work that you love to do, you know, but you're happy for it and the financial stability it gives you. So in reverse, it's kind of like when it comes up in these relationship spreads, it's kind of like someone's either tired of doing the work or they don't know what kind of work needs to be done. It can be a card of like, what do you want from me? Like, like, how can I fix this? Like, nothing ever makes you happy. Nothing I do ever makes you happy. So it's a weird card uh, to come up. It's actually not that weird. I actually see it in a, a lot of relationship spreads. So it's not great. So, so far with the two of them, all reversals. Okay. All right. And what is helping or hurting the situation? Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, not great, but I'll take it. So we got the Knight of Cups in reverse. So Knight of Cups upright. This is one of the fuckboys of of the tarot, right? This is the super passive knight. It's kind of like, oh, my feelings. So this often comes up for like, you know, someone in the relationship that has an over-focus on their own feelings. 
and they're just kind of like navel gazing and you're just like hi I'm over here do you care about me I'm your partner and so when this card comes up in reverse those can be receding like that sort of inertia can be receding so usually that's good or I guess we could interpret it as like you know the fuck boy is now destabilized so he's still navel gazing he's just doing it and acting crazy so that's also a possibility but hopefully we can interpret this in a more positive light okay and where is the energy heading oh okay not great not great so we got the queen of wands in reverse so the queen of wands the witchy queen the queen who like believes in the power of her own manifestation she's got her wand she's got her black witchy cat her face is turned towards the sun like she believes optimistically in the power for her of her own might you know that she can manifest what she needs so it's usually a very auspicious queen but in reverse something about this queen's been destabilized so this clearly represents Margot, right um because she manifests a lot of projects for herself like she's in production now lucky chap productions right so with this card in reverse it's kind of a card of like okay so she's going to be destabilized things are going to be a little upside down for her so here's what I'll say guys not great cards not great so all reversals n not one single upright card so there's static there's obstacles yeah that's coming for every relationship but these nothing here's very lovey-dovey so you know thank you to the subscriber who put the comment to do a video on this because this I, I would give some credence to these rumors. So I would say that based on these cards, yes, their relationship is under some stress. It's not heading in a great direction. Now they're not signaling a breakup, but they're also not not signaling a breakup. So that's what I've got for you guys. As always, we're gonna continue to monitor the situation. If you've heard any tea on these two, put it in the comments. Have you dated um, someone who has a zodiac sign that's directly opposite yours? If you have, put it in the comments, all right? Let me know how that went. Like and subscribe, it helps the channel to grow. And as always, we'll do this again.